Can my budget gaming PC handle Silent Hill 2 Remake? To answer this, we'll need to look at a few details. Which bring me to even more concerning question. Is my RX 6600 dying when I try to play Silent Hill 2 Remake at epic setting with ray tracing enabled? I get a brutal 13 FPS. I know ray tracing performs poorly on AMD, especially on budget ones. But this feels extreme. I've had this GPU for about a year and it's been solid for most of the games I play. For example, I get around 180 FPS on CS2 at high settings and 100 FPS in Ghost of Tsushima with a custom high settings with FSR enabled. But on Silent Hill 2 Remake, it feels like my GPU is really struggling. Even if I disable ray tracing and lower the preset settings, the game is still unplayable. Here's what's happening based on the stats I've checked. The CPU isn't the issue. There is no bottleneck and it's running smoothly. But the GPU is maxing out its VRAM. The game loads map shaders while moving forward. This increases VRAM usage, resulting in major FPS drops. For example, moving towards safe area triggers lag spikes. No matter the quality settings, I found that three main settings are draining FPS. Shadow quality, shader quality, and screen space reflection, SSR. Lowering these makes the game performs better, but lag spikes are still there. I looked other people on YouTube and found that the VRAM load is worse on AMD only. This guy has over 8 gigs of VRAM loaded, but the RX 6800 XT has more room for VRAM. Therefore, no lag spikes when shaders load as you move forward. And look at this guy, RTX 3070, not even close to 8 gigs of VRAM loaded. The game is clearly favoring Nvidia. The solution is to get a GPU with over 8 gigs of VRAM on AMD or consider getting an RTX. And yeah, RX 6600 is dying.